Hi everyone, Tara here, but you can call me T-Pap. Alright, so it's all in the title of the video, I'm doing another stationery haul. The reason I'm doing it now is because if you watched my 2019 bullet journal setup, I mentioned how my bullet journal was only going to last half the year and that I would be moving into a new one. And my last stationery haul was right before 2019. So I kind of have this thing now where I tend to like hold off on buying stationery items until I'm basically moving into a new planner. That's basically my way of controlling myself from buying everything I see all the time on Instagram because basically I want it all, but by giving myself like months at a time to like really think about it, I narrow down what I really want and what's more of like a splurge or more of an impulse buy, I guess. And then when I'm about to do a new planner, I'll let myself buy some items. <laughs> But also, since we're halfway through the year, I thought it might be fun to do a giveaway. So I've assembled a bunch of stationary goodies to give away, and I'll give you all of that information at the end of the video. So back in my passion planner days, I was all about stickers. The one thing I feel like I've been missing out on since I started bullet journaling was stickers. I know you can use stickers in a bullet journal, but for some reason I feel like it's cheating because everything is hand drawn and everything is so custom and it just feels like not right to just stick a sticker on a nice layout that you've drawn yourself. In the past few months I've gotten over that and now I'm like all about stickers. So if you watch my last stationery haul I was kind of obsessed with these grumpy bear stickers that I got from Mochi Things. You know if I'm really busy one week and I don't have time to like do a bunch of doodles but I want to spice it up a little, I keep the stickers in my planner binder for example, I have some in here right now. I have some stickers that Mike gave me in my stocking, and I have some of the, oh, and I have my Grumpy Bear stickers because I pretty much keep him with me all the time. I have lots of room to bring stickers with me on top of it, so it just seems like a no-brainer. So I went a little crazy and I bought 10 different stickers. <laughs> So part of me was really hoping they would have more Grumpy Bear sticker options, but as of now, June 2019, they have not released any more versions of my Grumpy Bear. But the brand that I got my llama stickers from, which is called Daily Like, they had a bunch of stickers, some were new, some were old. They basically have a bunch of versions. So I went through that collection and I found 10 that I wanted. I'm an adult. I can spend money on stickers if I want to. So I'm just gonna quickly go through the ones I picked up. I got flower pot because these are plants that won't die. Gardening because Mike and I have like a legit garden going and this will remind me to actually water the plants. Macrame, which is kind of like flower pot except all of the flowers are hanging with macrame, which is super cute. Jungle because I couldn't resist the little monkey with the backpack and the monkey with the camera around his neck. Universe, because Spaceman that's in so many different positions and I thought the planets were so cute. I just couldn't get enough of this universe pack. Cherry Blossom, which I'm probably gonna end up saving for next spring. Amusement Park, because Mike and I, as part of our California vacation this year, are going to Disneyland for one day. So that's like my one big reason to use those. Of course, per Mike's obsession, I had to get the Sheba stickers. Again, I love that an animal is wearing a backpack. I guess that's a weird kink I have now, animals wearing backpacks. I had to get the panda because obvious reasons. Look at how cute he is. And then this one I had to get. We know nothing will beat the grumpy bear, but this came pretty darn close. It's called Jelly Bear. And let's just look at this for a second. I love that he's in the rain doing some kind of weird, like a ritualistic thing. Um, also, him in the chair with the popcorn and the soda is my literal mood all the time. I also love the one where he's crying into the puddle and I like to think that it's because he spilled these french fries because that's what would make me cry. And then at the bottom, it's just him as different colors dancing. 
so it's not grumpy bear but it's still a gem while we're on the subject of stickers i do want to do an honorable mention of something that i didn't buy for myself but mike bought me as part of my birthday presents it was so sweet he actually got me these stickers they're on a roll but they're big flowers and he also got me this set of washi tape it even comes with its own dispenser which is very convenient i just think it's very sweet that he pays attention to what i like and he was able to go and venture into a craft section of a store and locate these things so a little shout out to mike for paying attention and helping me with my stationery obsession now it wouldn't be a stationery haul if i didn't have at least one thing from aliexpress and today i have three so i have two washi tapes that i got from aliexpress they are both stars one is black with gold stars and a moon every now and then, and it is foiled. This one is white, but it also has gold foil, but it's not just random stars, it's actually constellation. I've been really into everything with like stars and moons, and especially if it's foiled, I'm all about it. So I had to pick these up from AliExpress because they're so cute and I have no regrets. The third item I got from AliExpress is a good segue into our next category and if you shop on these types of websites like aliexpress wish they don't really care too much about copyright and or licensing because you can find very popular very copyrighted characters on items that they're certainly not seeing a profit i love pusheen the cat and i have just recently realized that there is a whole world of Pusheen stationery out there, so it's like two of my favorite things combining. I do have actual items from the Pusheen shop, but this first item is from AliExpress and it was 99 cents. And it is a pack of actual Pusheen stickers that are like actually good quality. They feel like vinyl almost, and they are actual Pusheen like art that you can find on a licensed Pusheen, you know, merchandise. They definitely are not supposed to do this. So there's that. But don't worry, I did actually buy some things from the Pusheen shop. I happened to be looking on a day where all the stationary items were on sale. So I got four things. I got this pack of sticky notes where it's Pusheen on a pillow or a marshmallow depending on your interpretation and how hungry you are. I'm so obsessed with it I haven't even opened it yet because I'm like saving it. Pusheen washi tape. It's called printed tape. I don't know why but it's washi tape and I love the cute little patterns. The first one has Pusheen and pizza and little food. The second one has Pusheen and desserts. And the third one just has Pusheen with a bunch of like shooting stars. It's so cute. I love the color scheme in that. I also picked up this adorable notebook, which is Pusheen and it says, hey. And the Pusheen on it is like fuzzy like I wish you could feel it it's like a fuzzy cat I love it so much it's just a plain lined notebook the lines inside are green but it's just one of those notebooks that it's nice enough to be fun to use but it's not so nice that I will have it sit on a shelf and never touch it until I have something amazing to write in it and last but not least I had to get this even though <laughs> I don't even know when I have time to do this. I got a Pusheen coloring book. <laughs> I mostly got it though because it came with these colored pencils that are two colors on each pencil. Like half of the pencil is a different color. And so that was like the real reason I wanted the coloring book. But obviously the coloring book is so cute. Like they have your typical like a Pusheen like scene that you could color in. They have ones that look like a mandala, but they're Pusheen. So I'm all about it. If I do get the urge to color, I can do it in my Pusheen coloring book because I'm 28 years old. <laughs> in my last stationery haul, I picked up a pen case from the website Notebook Therapy. And I actually went back there and I ended up finding like a really cool notebook 
and it looks like this. It's called the Our Story Begins Notebook, but what's really cool about this notebook is that it's not just plain white lined or grid pages. It actually has like pre-printed pages. Instead of opening a notebook and just seeing blank pages and not knowing what to do with it, I thought it would be so cool to have a notebook where there was actually something on the page already and you could kind of work around it because sometimes that blank page is intimidating. I get what I call white page paralyzed where I feel like I can't ruin the notebook. So to have a notebook that already has something on the page, I just thought that would be so cool. I'm obsessed with this page. I'm gonna bookmark it. It would just be so fun to like open up my notebook every night and like write on a page that looks like this. And I could use my constellation washi tape. It's a match made in heaven. Okay, so everything I have left is a writing implement of some kind. So I will be doing swatches and this is the first time I'm using any of this. Like I've literally been sitting on this stuff for a month just waiting to do the video and swatch it with you. So the first is kind of a novelty item and it's totally one of those instances where an Instagram ad sucked me in and I totally fell for it. But there's this website, it's called Pop Colors, where they have a bunch of colored pencil sets where the colors are named after things in TV shows or movies. So one of my favorite shows with Mike is The Office. So I got the Office Colors pencil set. It's just for the sake of like a joke and it's just jokes from the show. So I'll go through them real quick. The black is called Threat Level Midnight. The gold is called Golden Face. The orange is called Andy Bernard. The gray is called Diversity Gray. The brown is called Kevin's Favorite Chili. The pink is called Pam Pink. The white is called D White Christmas. The green is called Broccoli Rob. The blue is called Blues Cruise. Red is called That's What She Read. Yellow is called The Electric City. And tan is called The Scrantan Strangler. Will I ever use these? Probably not. It's just something I want to have just for fun because I love The Office. I feel like I saw Friends, I saw Parks and Rec, so if you have a friend who's into stationery that has a favorite show, check out that website because you might be able to find a little fun gift for them that they'll at least laugh at but they can actually use. They'll mostly just be for show but it's fun having them. So this next thing is not something that's entirely new to me, but there are a few pieces in this set that I've never used before and I'm excited to try. So if you watch my bullet journal videos, know that I do most of my drawing with Sakura Pigma Micron Fine Liners. So when I went on Amazon to reorder, since some of them had run out of ink, I actually found an 11 piece set that caught my eye. What I didn't know is that it would come in this carrying case, which is cool. I don't know how much use I'll get out of it because I rarely take like this exact thing with me. I always kind of have it at home. I really only use them when I'm drawing my weekly spreads and my monthly spreads and doing my setup for the month, but it is still nice that this was included. The 11 piece set contains all of the seven regular fine liners that you would get from the seven piece set but then you get an additional four pens that are pretty cool you get three pens from their graphic collection you get graphic one two and three and then you also get a brush pen and I've never used a brush pen from this brand so I'm very excited to try it in this set you get seven microns in the sizes 005 01 02 03 04 zero five and zero eight which is the biggest you also get three graphic pens graphic one is a one millimeter pointed tip it reminds me of the plastic nib pens except it's more of a felt tip 
and no plastic. Graphic 2 is a 2 millimeter chisel tip. I could see myself using it to color in something big or if I wanted to do a nice thick line on a monthly spread or something. And then graphic 3, which is a 3 millimeter chisel tip. I can think of so many ways I can use this. It's just cool to have different types of pens like this in my arsenal. And because I'm not an artist per se, I may never have actually picked these up in the graphic set because it's marketed more towards like comic book or anime type of art styles and that is not what I'm good at so I like that I was able to get them in this set with my normal pens and then last but not least we have the brush pen which is black and it's surprisingly thick if you're familiar with the Tombow Fudino Suke pens it's definitely thicker than that and leans more towards the soft tip of the duo of the hard tip and the soft tip brush pens, but it's not as thick as, say, a Tombow Duo brush pen. I really like the size of this, and it writes like a dream. I could see myself keeping this with me all the time and leaving my Tombows with my other art pens and being super happy that I just have this on hand. And I totally would buy this by itself. I like it a lot. My next item is something I've wanted for a very long time, but I finally have the Sakura Pigma plastic nib pens in color. I got three of the black Sakura Pigma Micron pens in my stocking this year from Mike. I did ask for them and I've been so happy with them. I use them constantly. It's basically all I use to write everything in my bullet journal that's not a doodle. Like it's what I use to write my tasks and my events and my schedule and all of that. I use exclusively the Sakura Pigma Micron Plastic Nib black pens. I am obsessed with them. They write so nice and I've wanted the colors for so long. So they come in a set of eight and the colors included are pink, red, brown, dark brown, black, dark blue, light blue, and purple. So here's the part of the video where you're gonna think I've gone insane, but I have an explanation. I have sitting in front of me, not one, not two, not three, but four packs of Tombow dual brush pens. <laughs> Michael's had a buy one, get one free sale. It was insane. So I actually only paid for two of these, but I got two of them for free. And whoever wins the giveaway and gets their own little stationery haul, you will be getting a pack of Tombow Duo brush pens. So you can thank Michaels for that. Now, if you know how the packs work, you always get 10, but one of them is a blender. So you really only get nine colors. So I had nine pastel colors. Then I made a custom pack where all 10 were colors. And then I have a black that I got for Christmas. So I have a total of 20 Tombow Duo brush pens and they all fit in this section of my little spinny pen thing, um, and I cannot fit any more. So I don't know where these are going to live yet. I ended up getting the bright, primary, secondary, and the one I'm most excited for, the tropical palette. I was going to buy this whether there was a sale or not. Like, I was going to own this. It was written in the stars. But because of the sale, I decided to round out my collection and buy what I felt was like a good mix of colors. So I've been waiting way too long. Let's just swatch these already.
like if you're watching this video, you watch a lot of stationary videos and you watch a lot of bullet journalers already, so I don't need to tell you the ins and outs of a Tombow to a brush pen. They are pretty pricey, but like I've never had one run out of ink. I have no complaints about them. They're awesome. My only complaint would be that they are a little on the long side, so they're hard to store, but I'm sure I'll figure out a way. It's totally worth it and I need to like stop buying them for a while. <laughs> I'm like putting myself on a stationary spending freeze until like December. So don't worry about me. I've got it under control. I just need to stop. And on that note, that is the end of my stationary haul. So now let's talk about the giveaway. So this is my first giveaway and I'm very excited about it. I've included the exact pencil pouch from my first stationery haul. I bought another one because I love mine so much. I'm including the blue version of the Our Story Begins notebook, the Tombow Dual Brush Pen Tropical Palette because I had to. Five of the daily like stickers, including the Jelly Bear, Panda, Universe, Jungle, and Sheba, a five pack of washi tape, and a few other goodies that I'll include as a surprise. <laughs> Don't worry, they'll all be stationary. All you need to do to enter the giveaway is to subscribe to my channel and give the video a thumbs up and to leave a comment below. You can say whatever you want. And for this particular giveaway, I just ask that you be in North America for shipping purposes. I will be choosing one subscriber at random, so good luck. As always, thank you so much for watching. I wish everyone happy planning, and I'll see you next time.